Hey everyone, what is going on? So actually just jumping into more Tempest PvP battles. Now I might actually take out the Lantern for something like a Skarmory or an Alolan Ninetales. I feel like I want that Ice type attacker, you know, but yeah, we, we're we just using the same team as uh, we were yesterday just to get more practice on it because it is basically, as I said, my finalized team or close to it. So going ahead just using these six Pokemon or, uh, you know, a variation between these six Pokemon. And uh, yeah, beginning with Lapis, he begins with Golbat and then he's going to swap in to a lantern i'm gonna go get off that surf not gonna do much but we already knocked out golbat so we're in a pretty good position getting off the last ditch effort that surf and then i'm uh, gonna go ahead switch into a bomber snow of course this thunderbolt not gonna do much to us well actually it did a decent amount for being resistant but anyway we're gonna be able to knock out that lantern and he does bring in his alolan nine tails uh we're doing a good amount of damage to it i do decide to block this side shock because we were doing a good amount of damage to it. We do get off that outrage, uh, but he's going to go ahead and block it, which was pretty good for us. We wanted to cost him that shield, and he gets off the side shock, knocks out a Lolan, um, knocks out a bomb of snow, excuse me, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and take that win. So we do pick up the win. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I plan on using different Pokemon, uh, just like Pokemon that are fun. Like There's a Pokemon I have in mind that I plan on trying out. I don't think it's very good, but I haven't seen people suggest it, so I do want to go ahead and give it a try, just for fun, you know, so that will probably be in tomorrow's video but anyway we're using Lapras and he's starting things off with Gliscor and Water Gun is going to completely dominate that Gliscor because it's weak to water so of course it would He's going to go ahead, get off that Aerial Ace. He's actually doing a good amount of damage to us as well because he gets off those charge moves faster, right? But uh, that's okay. We still knock out Gliscor. He actually knocks out our Lapras, but we do get a little bit of damage on that Alolan Graveler. Bringing in the Altaria. Now, Alolan Graveler actually doing good damage to us as well because we're weak to rock. So I do go ahead and block that. Get off the Sky Attack. And... Um, yeah, he's going to go ahead, switch into Frostlass. I don't mind that one bit because Frostlass, not really a bulky Pokemon, uh, or at least not as bulky as it seems. But anyway, <laughs> he brings in a Lolan Graveler. We go ahead and block this Rock Blast. We didn't have to block it. We would have won regardless, but why not, right? Uh, we, we do go ahead and block it, and we do go ahead and take that win. And so, yeah, actually start, started snowing, so we have some in-game snow, so pretty cool. Beginning with Altaria, he begins with his Obama Snow. Uh, we're just going to go to town on that Obama Snow, activating the Sky Attack. Uh, I thought he would actually block that, but I guess he decides not to. He wanted to save his shield. He brings in a lower Nine Tails. I'm going to have to pull out immediately because of how weak we are to Ice. Uh, ice Beam doing a lot of damage. I was kind of expecting Psy Shock, so I didn't block, you know, but it was actually Ice Beam. He gets us the Psy Shock now. We do go ahead and block that because I know I would be able to knock out a Lolan. Uh, Alolan Ninetales, he does bring in his Alolan Graveler, and uh, Water Gun is just going to do a lot of damage. We do go ahead, get off that Surf. I was expecting a shield, and he does go ahead and use that shield. I'm going to go ahead, use a shield on Rock Blast, and we're going to go ahead and knock out Alolan Graveler. Gra Graveler, excuse me. <laughs> he brings in his Alolan Ninetales, and we're going to be able to finish that off. So we do go ahead and take another game. So picking up a Rare Candy, which is always nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead, jump into yet another match, of course. And I'm going to begin myself with Lapis, and he begins with Lantern. Not a good matchup for me, because that Lantern, of course, has Thunderbolt, and it actually has Charge Beam as well. So, uh, we switch into Alteria, he switches into Alolan Ninetales. So, unfortunately, because we had to switch first, he got the, the next switch, and it's going to be something that we're weak to. So, uh, we're taking that Psy Shock. So, yeah, he's going to be able to knock us out, but we're actually doing a good amount of damage to him as well. He does go ahead and block that Psy Shock, so... He knocks out Arteria, but we do go ahead and take one of his shields, so I'm okay with that, but it's still a little bit annoying, I guess. Ice Beam not doing anything to Lapras because we resist it. Uh, but yeah, he's going to go ahead, get off that Psy Shock, and we're going to go ahead and be able to finish him off with Water Gun. Actually, he does get off one last uh, Psy Shock. Not able to knock us out, though, because Lapras is a bulky Pokemon. And uh, looking at my Pokemon just to decide, but when I see Lantern come in, I'm like, I'm not going to switch to Charizard, no way. But I basically knew this game was over at this point. I mean, we have Lapras, which is not doing anything to Lantern, and then we have Charizard, and Charizard is weak to Lantern. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing anything to it. Fortunately, he's able to get off Thunderbolt. We do go ahead and block it, but again, it doesn't matter. He also has a Pokemon in the back. Using that Dragon Claw, he's going to go ahead and block it, but again, it doesn't really matter. We actually get off another Dragon Claw, but, you know, we knew uh, it was over at this point. Uh, we, 
knock, we do knock out that lantern. I'm like, well, if it's a bomb of snow, we might win. It's actually Skarmory. And we get off that blast burn, guys. Guys, we actually get off that blast burn and we take the game. You know, did you, did you believe that we were going to lose that one? No, I actually thought that we were going to lose that one. I was like, it's that's all she wrote, right? I mean, I thought we were going to lose that one, but we actually do go ahead and, and pick up the win on that one. I couldn't believe it, but we got a little bit lucky because his last Pokemon was actually weak to Charizard. And we had the blast burn, so... You know, we actually got a little bit lucky there, but anyway, beginning with Altaria, but that's why you should never give up, right? Even if things don't look too great for you, because you never know. I mean, you could turn around and pull out the win. But anyway, he starts off with Skarmory, I start off with my Altaria. I'm going to go ahead and take that Sky Attack, and he's going to go ahead and get off yet another Sky Attack. Just saving up some energy, not a bad play, a pretty good play actually, bringing in Charizard. And Charizard knocks out Skarmory, he brings in Lantern, so I'm going to have to pull the switch immediately into my Obama Snow, and he has his Lantern, so Obama Snow wins against Lantern every single time, so we do go ahead and knock that out, he brings in his Alolan Ninetales. Now, we're neutral to the ice moves, and we do take damage from it. Uh, but we're actually dealing good damage as well. We're going to go ahead and block this side shock because I knew Obama Snow would be able to knock it out. Actually, he does get off his side shock, so I do give up my second shield, but he brings in his lantern, and yeah, I knew that was going to be game, so Obama still definitely helping us out, actually getting another rare candy, so I'll definitely take that. So, another really nice game, another really nice game, and uh, we're beginning with Altaria this time, he's beginning with Alola Ninetales, so this is actually a bad lead for me, so unfortunately, when you start with a bad lead... They might be able to take advantage of it, but we do go ahead and decide to block last minute. It was Ice Beam, so I'm actually really glad I blocked that. Unfortunately, he switched in to a Lowland Graveler, and of course, Charizard loses to a Lowland Graveler every time. So, uh, we're going to be able to go ahead and get knocked out, but we bring in my Obama Snow. I'm going to go ahead and block that because we're actually weak to Rock, and he brings in his Alteria. Just going to do massive amounts of damage to our Obama Snow. Getting off that Outrage, but he's going to go ahead and block it because he knew I had Outrage. <laughs> and uh, we bring in Alteria, and Dragon Pulse is going to do a lot to us. I was expecting Sky Attack. I didn't have any shields left anyway, so it didn't matter. But yeah, he's going to completely wreck me that game. So he does go ahead and take the game. So a uh, thousand dust for that, you know. I'll definitely take that, but we're going to go ahead and jump into yet another match, uh, of course, beginning with Lapras, he begins with Lantern, now of course, as I said, this is not a good matchup for us, because he also is part electric, uh, we bring in a bomb, so he switches into his Alteria, and just going to knock us out immediately, so things are looking really bad for us, but we did turn that other game around, so who knows, maybe we could turn this one around, right? He does go ahead, get off that Sky Attack, and I'm going to go ahead and use that Ice Beam, hoping that he would predict it was Surf and not block, but no, he actually goes ahead and blocks. There's really no reason for him not to block, you know, even if I did use Surf, using Surf this time, hopefully he blocks. He actually does forfeit his last shield, so uh, at least we took both shields, right? So we're going to go ahead, block this Dragon Pulse. And we're going to go ahead and, yeah, get some, de I guess, decent damage off. Going to go ahead and block a Sky Attack because this is our last Pokemon, so there's really no reason not to block, right? Getting off that Dragon Claw, that's going to knock out Alteria, but he still has two Pokemon, and Alolan Gravel is going to completely destroy us. You know, I was hoping it was kind of like both Pokemon were weak to Charizard, but not the case. So we're actually going to go ahead and jump into a battle with a different opponent. I begin with Lapras, he begins with Minum, or Plusso. I think that's Minum, right? <laughs> I get those confused sometimes, and I'm going to switch into my Alteria. Uh, it's actually Plusso, excuse me, it is Plusso. And uh, he switches into his Celio, getting off that Sky Attack, and he's actually going to go ahead and block it. We do get off another Sky Attack before we faint, so pretty good for us, doing a good amount of damage to that Celio. And we're actually going to take out that Celio, I... Uh, so I'll definitely take that. I thought Celio was going to knock us out, but no. We do go ahead and knock out Celio, and we get off a Sky Attack. Not doing a lot of damage, but at least it's better than nothing, right? We're going to go ahead, definitely switch into that Lapras Water Gun. Is a good counter, obviously, to Steelix. Heavy Slam not doing a whole lot to us. So uh, we get off that Surf Attack. And uh, that is going to be able to knock out Steelix. And his last Pokemon is that Plusle. And Water Gun is just going to be able to knock him out. So we do go ahead and take that game. So I'll definitely take that. Uh, Plusle is another Pokemon I did want to try out though. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon. So it's it's one that uh, I do want to try out. So we're going to go ahead and jump into uh, yet another battle. 
uh, Lolan Graveler, he begins with Wallerian. Now, uh, he's going to be weak to Rock. I'm going to be weak to Water. It looks like he has a Water move, right? So uh, we're going to go ahead and activate Rock Blast, and that's going to be able to knock him out. I was expecting a shield there, but no, I guess he didn't want a shield. Um, now he has Lantern, and we're going to go ahead and get off that Rock Blast. He's going to go ahead and use a shield on that to protect Lantern. And Thunderbolt, actually not going to knock us out. So, but he is going to knock us out with Charge Beam, that's okay. We bring in Obama Snow, he gets off another move, regardless of what it was, Thunderbolt or Hydro Pump, I knew we'd be able to easily survive that. So, uh, we do go ahead and knock him out, and now his last Pokemon is Celio, and of course we're going to be able to come in with Razor Leaf. So we actually win without using any shields, but we just had the better matchup, you know, so that's how we were able to take that win easily. But beginning with Lapis, this time he begins with his Shiny Raichu, beautiful Shiny Raichu. We're going to pull the Switch because we're weak to electric. I'll tell you it's neutral to electric, but it's better than being weak to electric, you know? Uh, but uh, getting off that, Sky Attack, and I was expecting to block here, and he does not block, so we actually go ahead and knock out that Raichu, and now he begins with Celio. So we get off yet another Sky Attack. We're also doing a good amount of damage to that Celio. He's going to go ahead and forfeit his shield, so I'll definitely take that. But we get off a lot of... D damage to that Celio, so that's definitely good for us. Bringing in that Charizard, I'm going to go ahead and block that Water Pulse. That's what I was kind of expecting, Water Pulse. And we do go ahead and... Well, actually, he get, he gets off his Water Pulse. Uh, going to go ahead and block that, and now we use the Dragon Claw, you know. And that's going to be able to knock out Celio, and his last Pokemon is Beauty Fly. So, you know, Beauty Fly can't compete with Charizard, so Charizard's going to be able to rip through it. And yeah, he's gonna go off, get the silver. We're not getting a boost again, it wouldn't matter, but we do take the win, and that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, click on one of the links to check out another one of my videos that you'll probably enjoy.